We know that the world is full of chaos. Every time you turn on the news, you don't know where the next disaster is going to be, where the next crisis is going to take place. People at war, and kidnappings, beheadings, people taking other people's lands, people starving. In our own country, you see the divisions that politics has caused where there's a disrespect for people. We see people that are afraid to, to let their children play out in the streets. We know the power that the gangs have in some communities and addiction and all, all families that have members that are addicted to alcohol and drugs. And we see all of this, a lot of chaos. And some of us then just give up. Some of us then just retreat into our world. And some of us just forget it's not going on and just take care of ourselves and do our own thing. We're confronted with the evil that is out there and it's so chaotic that we don't know what to do. And then we have this period of Lent and we refocus ourselves to fight the temptations that are in us not to do anything, to give up, to give in, to contribute to those kinds of chaotic and critical situations that people live through by our own, our own prejudices, our own judgmental attitudes, our own lack of charity or generosity or respect. We just give in. And so the Lord Jesus gives us this image of understanding how we have to, how we live this situation and how we have to fight these kinds of temptations and let this a time together in which we address them as an individual, as a community, as a family, as a church. Holy Father calls us to live the life that Christ lived and to accompany our sisters and brothers in times of chaos and crisis, to be the field hospital out there where the battle is. And he asks us to focus this Lent, for us as a church to focus this Lent on a globalization of indifference, where so many people just don't care don't care and just live their own lives as if there is no relationship that we have with anyone else in the world. He calls us to who we are as the people of God, as the disciples of Christ. He calls us to do what is right in our own lives and in the lives of our families and communities. He calls us to take leadership in the world to change the things that are wrong and unjust. He calls us to live the life of Christ in the world. And he assures us of Christ's presence. And that's why we come to the sacraments to be fed, to be forgiven, to be strengthened, so that we can go back out into the world and make a difference. That's why the Catholic gives up something during Lent to help him and her refocus once again their time, their attention, their talents on what needs to be done in their own lives to change and to reclaim the identity of Christ and to live that in the world. It's not easy being a Catholic. It's not easy being a disciple of the Lord Jesus. It calls for constant growth and change. And what it gives us is everlasting joy and peace. Because we are living whom we are called to be. Brothers and sisters in Christ, sons and daughters of the Lord.
And so Lent is our time to refocus and to renew our covenant with the Lord, that we will live our faith in the moment, that we will, we will work so that people's lives are filled with hope by the way we live our own Christian and Catholic life.